So Nunu, I heard you had thoughts about the new final finale She-Hulk series thing that happened. It broke down my fourth wall brain. Oh my god. That's right, it's finally here. She-Hulk has ended. And we have thoughts. We thought we had thoughts when we... I think my brain hurts too much for thoughts. Yeah, when we did the the Daredevil breakdown, it was a thing. And now this thing is is more of a thing. It's very confusing. Yep. I cannot recall being more... Angry? I don't think... I don't know if I was angry. There's barely any words. You don't feel insulted by that? Uh, I no, I, I wasn't angry. I was just kind of sitting there in shock, mm-hmm. just being like, "What? What's happening?" You don't feel? I feel like there were some good ideas there, but it it annihilated basically the entire point of the series. What was Jennifer Walters' arc? in that whole series uh she was going through personal turmoil or something right and then what and she's a whore uh-huh and That's then all I what? Got from it and if she wishes enough real hard she can have everything that she wants Including a casual relationship with Daredevil. Oh, that's right. She did go to a wishing machine and change everything more or less Yeah, yep That's a thing. So I mean, we're here to talk about the finale, and you can't talk about the finale without the rest of the show. So we're gonna not go through every episode, but we're gonna give our general thoughts. Every episode, or I believe that's the point. You don't remember any episodes. I remember she went shopping for clothes. I remember she looked good in like one episode, and I was like, "Oh, okay." I know she went on some Tinder dates. She's a whore. I remember that. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, Uh -huh. she's not that good of a lawyer. She should be a much better lawyer. I remember she's better than men at everything. Until Daredevil shows up and then Daredevil's better than (laughs) at everything. Yeah, because doesn't Hulk say things like, uh, you have to be careful about controlling your anger. And she's like, I control my anger all the time because I'm so much better. exactly not that in the end. But then she doesn't learn anything because the whole last episode, she just wish She basically pulls a Wonder Woman 88. Or 83? Wonder Woman 83. 84. Whatever year it was. 88, 84. WWE 84. Uh huh. She raping men is okay. Is that not what this is? She makes Daredevil fall out of the sky without consent. That's true. He did not agree to that. Or agree to have kids, but apparently that's happening. Mm, she doesn't agree to have kids because she still wants a career. No, you can't have both. You can't have both. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, so she, uh, I don't know. We can kind of go through it and discuss what we think happened or what yep. didn't happen. Spoilers, obviously. There's a lot obviously. of breaking down of walls and barriers. Yeah, basically all the strands for for the finale all come together at the end. And then she's like, I don't like any of this. This is annoying. And I was like, I don't like any of this either. So they deliberately wrote a bad ending so that she could be like, this is a bad ending. Correct. It also invalidates all the tension buildup and all the the, what tension. Well, the (sighs) illusion of tension. Yeah. Like they were trying to build like some sinister plot with intelligentsia Mm -hmm. stealing the blood. And like, there was going to be something that guy never the guy who and it's just like some creepy sex dude yeah but that guy literally never got his comeuppance the guy uh, who seduced her Ta- Josh he just he got it he got, he got the punani he got, got the in, blood got and got yeah. out yeah. no problem in fact she's more mad at the toxic bro Todd yeah who do we not know that he was a bad guy from the very first time she went on a date with him so they discover what happens with the inte- yeah dangling plot strands in the thinnest of way like there's no plot here apparently uh, the thing that annoys me i think that annoys me the most is like everybody basically shows up right abomination is giving us uh he's been paid to give a talk and he's turning back into the abomination which is illegal and then Tatiana blows through the wall like the Kool-Aid man again. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 
She doesn't say that. She should. Doors are for pussies. And then Bruce Banner shows up, Mark Ruffalo, as the Hulk. But he's like. Bro Hulk shows up. Wuss Hulk. Yeah. And then there's toxic bro Hulk. There's like so many Hulks. I don't even Hulk. Too many Hulks to Hulk. Yes. You can. Anybody can be a Hulk. And then Jennifer goes, none of these storylines make any sense. Is this working for you? You guys wrote it. You wrote it. You wrote. You literally are saying your entire nine episode arc was written by a bunch of jackholes, and it doesn't make On any purpose. sense. So the entire nine so she episode can run, fix it like a woman, like a boss. Yeah, like a boss, like a lady boss, like a lady boss. Megan, the and Stallion. now she can transform, even though that's illegal. Yeah, no. She it, should have been disbarred. Rules do not apply to women. Oh, They're better forgot. and superior than men in every way. Yeah, because she can just transform and she goes to the landing page of Disney Plus. And she bursts out of her She Hope thumbnail. That's kind of where I was just like, all right, wow, this is going full retard. See, I, I thought that was okay because there are there's precedent for that in the comic book. So I'm not that oh, like wrong with it, or I, I don't disagree with it that much in consideration of her, like them invalidating the entire nine episodes that they already did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that, and, and the fact that she literally turns in the She-Hulk, which is illegal, and the fact that she was arrested by DDoS or what are they? D- damage control? I don't D-O- know. D- DDOC? Shield. Whatever they are now. And she should have been. Like, Bruce goes, Oh, I have an inhibitor now that makes me human. And she's like, Can you make one for me? And he's like, No, this one's specially calibrated for me. Except for damage control, happens to have one for the abomination and one for oh, her. Yeah. Oh yeah, they totally forgot about that plot hole. Yeah. Uh, whoops, a doodle. Uh, and then you know we did have somebody who was arguing with us about whether or not Daredevil could even practice law in California. He yeah. does have to be licensed in California to practice law. I looked it up. But you don't know whether he is or he isn't. We don't. He, he could be. So as long as he adheres, to, like they said, as long as he adheres to the laws and he's licensed there, he can practice. It's fine. We don't know that. They've never established that since he loves Hell's Kitchen so much, which yeah. he does establish several times that he loves Hell's Why Kitchen. Why is his fucking costume yellow? That's from the comic book, too. Is it? Uh-huh. He's yellow? Mm-hmm. He's yellow devil? Yes. There is a uh, a yellow. But for what? Did, did they explain the purpose? So no. Do you really it, want to say it? Yeah, but like, is why? I don't know. They just gave him a different costume. What do you? Want? It looks like fucking ketchup and mustard. He is ketchup and mustard. Yellow daredevil. Hold on, let's find one for the. Yeah, say look, comic book. I, that's fine, but like, why? What do you mean? I don't know. I didn't design the comic book. I'm just showing like, you. Is it's that his from the original costume? Like, no, uh, like I think he, there's like him reborn. What's the precipice and, of it? Like, I don't like why? Like, just why? Because he's likes ketchup and mustard, man. I don't know. What do you, what do you want me to tell you? Oh, it's right. just, it's a thing. Okay. It's a costume that he has. I guess. Yeah, it's a thing. It's, it's not my favorite costume. I don't know why they decided to go that direction, but they did. So we, we can't do do anything about it. So then she goes to the writer's room. And I don't what I don't get is I know that the showrunner is in that scene. Eli, uh, what's her name? Elizabeth Gao or something Jessica like that? Jessica Gao. Jessica Gao is in that scene. Is she? Yes, she is. Yes. So she goes to talk she goes into Burbank. It's the actual Disney lot. So they're saving a lot of room in the She-Hulk writer's room. And she wants to understand why the finale of her show is so bad. Why she blames the Marvel formula? What is... I don't... by men. Yeah, it's funny too because she's yelling at one of the... One of the... The writers is a man, right? The main guy that she's yelling at is a man. Kevin. No, in the writer's room, the oh, main guy yeah, she's yelling yeah. at is uh-huh. a man. Even though 
Jessica Gao is the showrunner. She's in charge. She's not yelling at her, right? Wouldn't you take Wouldn't you take umbrage with her? She's the head show. She is the person who no, runs the show. No, but the show is being undermined by the men. The male writers yeah. in the room uh-huh. are not doing They're undermining job. the lead writer. So then they say, well, she needs to go see Kevin. But you can't talk to Kevin. You know, Kevin Feige, the head of Marvel Studios. And some Feige. Whatever he... Now he's a robot, so I don't care anymore. He can call himself whatever he wants. And if, in fact, did you see in the ending credits where they had the hat, the Kevin Feige hat on? There was a post credit scene, but what was No, the... in the animated one. You know how they draw stills? Oh, 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 oh. One of them had Kevin wearing the Kevin Feige hat. Uh, it it was pretty stupid. What was the post credit scene? It was Wong taking the abomination oh, yeah, back yeah, to yeah, yeah. which like what's the relevance, what's the relevance of that? Don't don't know. And then don't he's care. Like, you were were you in another show? What other show? Maybe he's gonna show up in uh, Loki. I don't know. What what he said? What? Yeah, remember Emil's like, oh, were you busy in another show or something? No, he's like busy that? watching another show. Oh, uh, remember he was watching yeah, the yeah, yeah. what is the that? Girl. What's yeah? What the, what the? I don't remember. Melody, but not where you think it is yes. in the butt. Yes. <laughs> Who's the? I don't know. Well, they were watching uh, The Sopranos. Never watched that show, but yeah. Mm-mm. So, um, yeah, she's unhappy with her ending, and she doesn't like all of the different things. And she goes, you know, the uh, Kevin, which stands for Knowledge Enhanced Visual. Interconnectivity Nexus has the most advanced entertainment algorithm in the world, produces near perfect products. You know, just like Miss Marvel. Fantastic. She's the best. Oh my. You didn't even watch that. No. Not even a little bit. There was no Dolly dancing. Uh, there was no dancing. But Wally dancing. Yes, there was, wasn't there? Wasn't no. there a dancing episode? There was not. Oh. No. All right. I need her to be less pudgy. Oh my god! And like old art, <laughs> not sixteen. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, so she goes. It's often said all the Marvel movies end the same way, and Kevin's like, "Who says that?" And I, I, I am okay with them trying to be creative. I get where they're going with this. They're just not good enough to do it. They're not creative, creative enough. And the fact that they made all of these terrible other episodes where she's shopping for clothes, I just, I don't care. She calls, she goes, at one point she goes, it's a it's a, a, a lawyer drama. She yeah. had all of three cases. And one of them she didn't even do herself. The one with the Mr. Immortal. That is true. There's she no, didn't do that yeah. case. How many cases? She had three cases and she lost two of them. She lost the frog case, right? Rip and ribbit. Rip and ribbit. She, the, the one case wasn't even hers. How many cases did she win? She won, I think she won one case. Blonsky. Yeah, she won the Blonsky case and that's it. So there, and there was a total in nine episodes, there were four cases. Oof. And she only did one of them, right? Uh, there's probably more. No, but... two. She did Blonsky. There was the case, the copyright case, but she was the defendant in that. Oh, so yeah. So she didn't actually do that case. There was the uh, the Megan the Stallion case. She didn't do that case either, did she? Mm, I honestly don't remember. I'm pretty sure she didn't do that case. So I'm just saying, like, she's not the attorney in this whole thing. And then she loses her job and is instantly broke. That was pretty funny. Yeah, she's you, you instantly can't. can't afford her house anymore. She's making like several hundred thousand dollars a year and has no backup funds. No, because she's too busy spending it on paying for drinks and on Tinder. That's true. Getting wailed on. She is getting wrecked. I, I mean, she's wreckable, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't. That not, okay, so then she goes back and basically goes to the wishing machine. At one point, Kevin's like, are you still talking? Because <laughs> she won't stop talking. She won't stop talking. And she basically wishes her perfect episode. So they get rid of all the action. All of it. For feelings and for feelings. And you know, you know, Blonsky has to get, serve another ten years of his sentence because he violated parole. What did she do? She turned into She-Hulk. She violated her parole. Did she not? 
Uh, and she would have been disbarred if she committed a felony when she, she attacked all those woman. people. She the best. The best woman. They're like, it's exactly like the comic books. Okay. I mean, look, there is a part here where I mean, she's the like... The was pretty funny with where they just mirrored the... I like that. That's why I said there were there were some okay ideas in this where they did a shot for shot remake of the 1970s Hulk show, and they called it the Savage She Hulk, which was the initial title of her comic book. But she's like, I, I get this. She's like, she busts right through the comic book. She's like, this is my comic book. I get it. I think it's cool. Like, I just it's weird somehow. Daredevil or not Daredevil? Uh, Deadpool does fourth wall breaking in a good way and her fourth wall breaking wasn't like they didn't know how to do it you know what i mean uh, yeah i just don't think her writing was as good it just doesn't make as much sense right none of it makes sense none of it makes sense uh, i'm just not no this was not good need a fifth wall break and not have a second season yes so speaking of which we'll look at the whole season finally over yes the critics have it at 87%. You critics are a bunch of jackholes. And then the audience score has it at 35%. They won't even tell you how many how many reviews there are because they blocked it. Rotten Tomatoes blocked it. They won't say, look, there's no knows. numbers. I really like the character. And I think, you know, the one episode where she acts with um, Matt Murdock, she's, she's acting with the Daredevil. I thought that was pretty That like, was good. good. Yeah. Daredevil episode was by far the best. Yeah. And like I could almost buy the two of them acting together. Yeah. But otherwise, no thank you. It wasn't no, great. No thank you. It, it wasn't great. I'd be no. curious to see if this gets season two. That would be a huge... They, it, it, it just... All that matters is whether or not it gets... Uh, Marvel and Disney like decide to do the HBO thing and start like hacking at all the stuff that's garbage because yeah. the ratings didn't even break the top 10 like it was just, it was just bad it, it never even made it into the Nielsen ratings as far as I understand it like it just was not good so I did not like this I like the idea uh, I don't I don't mind the fourth wall breaking I don't mind I just don't understand how you have nine episodes of garbage and then you complain about the garbage. It almost felt like they had a giant reshoot to make, like this wasn't the plan. And then they were like, oh yeah, we'll we'll just do this. I'm sure it wasn't. Really? Like, like even the part where she CGI, they, they're like, oh, it's too expensive for you to CGI change. All the CGI artists have moved on to the next project. And they started playing the the Black Panther theme. Did you hear that? Did they play it? Uh huh. What kind of forever? Uh huh. But that's pretty ridiculous because Black Panther is where everybody started to notice how bad the CGI was. That is true. It was pretty bad. So why would you make a reference like that's almost too meta about how like terrible your CGI was? So I don't know. This is bad. This is not good. Downright ugly. I need to move on with my life. Yeah, I don't know. I was just like, what the fuck the entire time. And part of me was like, well, at least Tatiana Bonslani is like semi-attractive. They totally fucked her up for they this, did. though. They Tico rosed her. It's fine. You just, it's fine Tico rosing everybody. Yeah. What's that other girl's name? I'll be her. I don't lawyer. know. Who are, you'll be her. I'll be your Huggleberry. Jamie Collette or something. Jamie Clayton. Clayton, yeah. The man. Pin. <laughs> No. Mr. Pinhead. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wrong answer. Oh my gosh. They've oh my gosh. I could say something about Pinhead and how many <laughs> penises? How Yeah, how many have played? It's always been What? Never <laughs> I can't say. Anyway. Let's move on. We're moving on. We're done for the day. That's been a tough one. Anyway, uh check out our Instagram uh orc underscore you O R K underscore you. We ramble. On ORKU. Good to see some people there. Check out our shorts. We're killing it. 10 second reviews. You love them. You leave them. You do them. We do it. Be sure to share because that helps. And like and subscribe. Or Noob Noob may do this. I will break that fourth wall 
and then put peanut butter on a knife. Just fucking butter them cheeks, baby. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to have no control over it because I'm fourth wall breaking. I'm the one who makes the rules like mm-hmm. She-Hulk did. Just a wishing machine yeah. about peanut butter and your cheeks. And Kevin. Kevin will be there Kevin's too. Kevin's important because he's a man <laughs> and a robot. And ro- is he a man though? He's a robot man. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. I Kevin didn't check and his Megan ch- are going to just go ham in the next porno. Oh my gosh. Video from Blumberg University. Oh my gosh. Blumberg University. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all you got to hear from us today. Uh, but we are on to the next one. <laughs>